What's up, Ian here, and this is my review for the Soundpeats Live True Wireless Earbuds. Now, before I begin, I'd like to thank Soundpeats for sending this to me and making this video possible. But guys, rest assured that whatever I say in this video is my own opinion. This video is not scripted, and Soundpeats will be watching this video together with you guys. So, as usual, right, I'll go through the accessories, the fit and comfort, the price and specifications, the design and build quality. I'll talk about the ANC the transparency mode i'll do a mic test and i'll go through the different features of this earbuds and then of course the different uses which i went through and then of course i'll talk about the sound performance of these earbuds now this video will be time stamped so for those of you who want to skip around please feel free to do so All right so let's begin with the accessories that comes in the box like this actually a very simple box like huh? nothing much to talk about it's just that i got a very cute boy in front and then at the back here you got the uh, picture of the earbud but at the side here you have the specifications uh, let's quickly go through the specs lah, since we are talking about the specs so this is a um, bluetooth 5.2 earbuds the frequency response for this earbuds is 20 to 20 thousand hertz and the play time for this is about five hours i've tested it uh, five hours i have to take out in fact you can swap the two different sides and with the case itself right it will bring up the whole listening experience to about 25 hours which is enough lah, okay i in fact i use this the entire day without charging so no problem with that lah, okay now it comes with a user guide and i do suggest to read this user guide before using it if you were to buy it so it gives you uh, valuable information on uh the different touch modes lah, okay you got a it's touch sensor you got to uh different like one touch two touch that kind of thing so yeah you need to read that and then uh comes with a charging cable this one is a usb c to usb a okay and extra ear tips so this extra ear tips you got small and large the medium is on the earbuds themselves already lah, okay right so this is the uh charging case now basically right this unit is uh, retailing for 39.99 us dollars and uh, it comes in two colors lah, black and white so for those of you who are interested please check out the link down in the description below so the case itself as i mentioned right it can charge your earbuds uh, for 20 hours more these earbuds right can actually uh, work independently uh, so you can use only one side and the other side is charging in the case and then you can alternate it lah. now case itself right i find that the case outside is a matte finish so which is pretty good it does not attract any fingerprints and it's got this textured finish to it lah i can hear that and uh but it does attract a bit of stain lah okay maybe oil stain or whatever uh but yeah it's pretty negligible at the back here you get a charging port USB-C charging port and the front here you got the nail uh groove so you can actually uh, put your fingernails in there and you can open up the lid uh, the lid is pretty sturdy lah okay it doesn't wobble or anything like that so pretty good and then you got the led indicator right here to tell you the battery strength of the case and once you open up right you can see like uh really reset button right here so when you press this button for i think 10 seconds it resets the earbuds to uh, factory settings and you can pair it uh with other ear phones like, or other device unfortunately this does not have any uh, multi-point connection so uh, you can only connect to one device at a time like, okay and uh yeah so the design of this is pretty good actually you know the earbuds sits inside this uh well and then the charging pins are actually here at the stem area here and then the connect corresponding connectors uh points are here so pretty nice like, and i find that it's pretty easy to remove the earbuds and put them back in fact you see so easy to remove i just take it out like that okay twist it and then it comes out put it in my ear once i'm done i just throw it back into the case and the magnet will attract the earbuds into its original position and it's quite strong the magnet you see when it shake 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 the earbuds doesn't fall out okay now 40 us dollars i think this actually in terms of the build quality uh, uh is pretty sturdy already like, even though it's made of plastic uh, yeah i don't see any metal parts like it doesn't feel premium like, but 40 bucks i think price to performance ratio this is actually pretty good quality plastic already if you ask me okay so earbuds themselves right you can see uh it's got this it's a stem style like, okay toothbrush style same like apple whatever those airpods pro okay but it's a touch sensor lah. so touch sensor is at the logo here so you press one time it will 
activate something like play or pause your music that kind of thing uh, but there's no uh, in-ear sensor or anything like that uh, and the microphone is down here lah, okay so there's a microphone and uh, air pressure release here okay so for the earbuds a uh, very basic lah, okay for 40 us dollars i think uh can't expect too much okay now let's talk about the features of this lah. so as i mentioned right this one has got enc and there's also a uh, transparency mode and also it comes with a, a company app so let me just take out my phone and show you guys okay so basically right there's this app you need to download this app and when you start up the app uh, first you need to uh pair your earbuds with the your device okay and then once it's paired right and you start up the app this is the screen the home screen that you'll see and you'll show you the uh, battery level of the earbuds lah. and then you, you can also go to this cog here and then it will bring you to this page here and this page right will show you the different uh, functions you can do uh, with the earbuds first you can change the volume okay and then also there's this um, adaptive eq this one you got to do a test lah, okay so they will test your ears and then uh put you through some uh, hearing test and then you, you will adjust the eq according to your hearing ability okay so that's for the adaptive eq and then there's also preset equalizer lah. so if you don't want to go through that trouble of that uh, testing your ear you can just go through the presets and there's a few presets here for example sound pits classic bass boost bass reduction electronic rock and roll folk uh, treble enhancement pop and classic okay and then you can also customize your eq so there's a six band uh, eq for you to adjust right here and that's it that's for the sound lah. so sound is pretty okay like you can actually there's a few options for you to adjust the eq and the sound performance okay as i mentioned right the enc and the transparency mode so you can actually uh, turn it on and off uh, on this app itself so you can just tap on this and it will uh, activate the enc mode or you can tap on this here you activate the transparency mode or if you don't want any you just go back to normal mode lah. okay now below that is a gaming mode so if you're gaming you can turn on the gaming mode which is right here or you can uh, yeah just leave it lah. okay I, I normally i just leave it because to me it's really good enough then also there's a disable touch key uh, one click function so basically right this will prevent accidental touches so if you were to activate it it will well you won't uh, accidentally touch uh, the sensor here as you're putting on the earbud and activate the you know the earbuds for playing something like okay right so that's for the accompanying app so for the anc let's talk about anc lah, okay so anc right i find that uh it cuts off quite a bit of the low end like for example aircon sound uh the car engine sound uh and those really low aeroplane sound but the higher the mids and the higher end ones right i still can hear a bit lah. so for example people around me uh, they are talking right i still can hear a bit and then the uh for example sirens the ambulance i also can hear a bit of the sirens also lah. so it does not cut off everything it's not 100 percent enc well it's okay it's decent it's not the best lah. and then also right i find that when i turn on ANC I, I feel a bit of a ear pressure uh, when the ANC mode is on so it seems that you know sometimes it's like uh, blasting something into my ear like it's like a air blower blowing something in my ear and then after that the pressure builds up and then I need to remove this earbuds from my ear to release the pressure so that's that's the weird thing which I hear lah. okay so that's for the ANC then for the transparency mode is okay not bad I can hear people talking to me I can actually uh, understand what they are saying to me but they sound a bit um, unnatural okay but it's still audible definitely audible and uh, it's okay lah. actually transparency mode uh, is reasonable all right for 40 dollars when i hear my ambient sound i I'm obviously for the cars for the ambulance for aeroplane sound and you know people chatting i can hear it loud and clear definitely but it's a bit unnatural lah. that's about it lah. me about 40 dollars it's okay lah right now let's talk about the microphone so basically i use this for phone calls as well because i use this as a hands-free most of the time so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to uh, do a recording on my phone and then i'll play back that recording and let you guys hear that sound and then you guys be the judge of the performance of that microphone now, okay okay so i'm going to put the uh, sound piece um, live into my ears okay and then i'm going to record something and let you guys hear Okay, so now this is the sound 
being recorded on the microphone of the Sound Peace Live. How do you think I sound? Okay, now this is the sound of my studio microphone. Now I'm going to switch back to the microphone of the Sound Peace Live. This is the sound coming out from the Sound Peace Live microphone. How do you think I sound? Okay, so that's the microphone sound okay so you guys be the judge uh i find that the microphone is very loud okay uh it's pretty good lah, okay uh, the, the, which is good the other party can hear me very loud and clear but it's a bit artificial to me lah, but it's okay i mean it performs pretty well for 40 dollars now let's talk about gaming right the different modes which i use this for lah. so i use this for gaming i use this for hands-free phone calls and i use this for watching movies and watching youtube videos now for gaming the gaming on this is actually pretty good right the uh the lag is not too bad in fact it's not bad at all lah, all right uh i play mostly uh, mobile legends uh, first person shooters and those music uh, rhythm games so and you, as you know like music rhythm games right uh, is very important for the animation and the sound to be in sync if it's not in sync then you know i can't press the rhythm and in time lah, okay so timing is very important so i play rhythm games on on this earbuds and it's pretty good right so for that fact i think for, in terms of latency uh in fact i played it without the uh, gaming mode on so i think it's pretty good lah, okay non-competitive gaming lah, okay basically if you are playing competitive first person shooter games uh, then maybe you know the default setting is not good enough lah. so you might need to turn on the um, gaming mode but for me the default mode is good enough okay now for watching movies right uh the the lip sync uh, between the dialogues right i find i find it's pretty okay the person talking and the sound which i hear and the explosion the action and all that is actually in sync lah. so watching movies and watching youtube on this is quite en enjoyable okay i haven't talked about sound yet lah, okay so i'm not i'm going to talk about sound later lah, okay so for the different modes on these earbuds i mean for 40 dollars is pretty good lah. it's just that uh sometimes when i'm you know out and about um usually i'll turn off the enc so i can hear my ambient sound uh, the transparency mode is good uh, but sometimes it sounds a bit artificial lah. okay now let's talk about the sound lah. okay sound for this right i have measured it okay so in general lah, in general let's talk about general lah. i'm not talking about my own personal preference obviously i am actually an audio enthusiast and i'm very particular about the sound signature which i hear and looking at the um the sound which i measured from these earbuds uh, these are not my uh, listening preference like definitely not okay but in general the type of sound that the public can hear is actually pretty good for casual listening i'm talking about casual listening okay now let's talk about sound for the um the imaging and the sound stage technicalities of this lah. so basically the imaging right is actually a pretty wide and deep type of sound stage not surround sound okay so for gaming i can actually hear uh, quite a wide range and uh, quite a big room type of sound stage lah. so for first person shooters i can actually hear the sound from pretty far away and the imaging and the sound separation sound separation not so not so much but the imaging is pretty accurate lah, okay but sound separation a bit muddled lah. i find that some of the sounds all mixed together all right but the imaging i can actually identify where the, the shots are coming from where the explosion is coming from or where the footsteps are coming from so uh in terms of gaming this is actually pretty good for imaging lah, okay imaging now for as i mentioned right for sound separation and the layering lah, is it's okay only but i'm not expecting too much for that so in terms of the sound performance and the sound quality of this is pretty decent but it's again not good enough for me as an audio enthusiast but for the general casual listening it's actually pretty good now for the entire sound itself like okay sound signature this is to me a, a very typical v-shaped in fact it's a very very v-shaped uh, tuned uh well earbud okay the bass is elevated 
the treble is also elevated and the mids are recessed. La. But if you look at this graph, right, it's actually pretty close to, uh, I mean, it's hovering around the Harman target. Now, this Harman target is this dotted line here. And this Harman target is actually uh, a, a, a frequency where most people, according to the studies and the uh, measurements, la, okay, most people are comfortable to listen to at that level. La. So the bass, they are comfortable to listen to it at this level. The mids, they are comfortable to listen to it at this level and the treble at this level. La. Blah, blah, blah. Now, I'm not going to go through the Harman target. But if you look at the sound signature of the sound piece live, it's, pretty, it's hovering around this Harman target. La, okay. Now, the sub bass and the mid bass, right? I've well, it's bloated, all right? It's definitely bloated, but which means that there's a lot of bass. You can hear a lot of bass. The presence of the bass is more prominent uh, than your mids. So mids is where all the instruments lie. These, your vocals, your violins, your pianos, they all, they sound, their sound all coming out from here, lah, okay? So what happens is that if you look at this, this is present, this is very prominent. Your treble also very prominent and whatever is here will be veiled by this two frequency here lah okay so what i listen when i hear things on this sound piece live i can hear a lot of bass i hear a lot of treble but i hear a, just you know a little bit of the instruments lah okay so if let's say you have a very busy track you have a lot of uh, instruments a lot of bass a lot of treble in a certain track then you will hear a lot of bass the what's more prominent in that track will be the bass and the treble lah okay the mids not so much okay so in general basically what i i'm trying to get at is that this earbuds is suitable for casual listening right if you like a lot of bass if you like a lot of treble then this is actually pretty good for you uh you know for your casual listening like listen to modern songs pop songs uh, r&b rap that kind of songs lah. but if you're listening to classical then this may be not suitable for you. If you are if you are really uh, into the details of the sound itself, then of course this is not suitable for you. And even for my own personal reference, I mean, I have to be honest here. I am audio enthusiast, and to me, this is not to my standard, lah, Okay, in terms of the sound tuning, I find that there is like uh, too much bass. Okay, and uh, it actually veils the rest of the frequency, lah. Okay. If I want to casually listen to my music, uh, definitely this is okay. Lah. It's fine. It's, it's just that, you know, this sub bass here is a bit rolled off. So the rumble lah, of the sub bass is a bit cut short, right? And then the presence of it is pretty good. And in fact, it veils the rest like the, the pianos and all that. And the mid bass is quite thumpy also, lah, quite impactful. And the cymbal strikes and the hi-hats to me is pretty good. Lah. It's just that the, the vocals, the instruments, they sound a bit laid back, a bit uh, so-called recess, lah. Okay, so I I would love to have this tuning a little bit less bass, and a bit less presence, lah. In a bit less gain, lah. It's too much gain, too in your face type of treble, and a bit more elevation to the mids and the vocals. Okay, that's my preference, lah. But I, as I mentioned, right, forty US dollars. So in terms of sound to performance ratio. Uh, this is actually performing pretty well according to its price. Okay, it's not asking for $200. Obviously, if it's asking for $200, this to me is not worth it. Lah. But for $40, this is definitely worth it, lah, worth the price. Okay, so uh, for those of you who just like casual listening, play your games and watch your movies, $40 US you can get a set of sound piece line, which is pretty good. It's quite a versatile type of earbuds. Lah. But for an audiophile or audio enthusiast like me, obviously not suitable for me. Lah, okay? Right, so that concludes my overall review and impression of this Soundpiece Live. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Lah, right, so I hope you guys have a great day ahead and um, I'll see you again in my next review. Cheers.